place to start is mm-hmm. really basic. Give us a little bit of um, background on yourself, what you've previously done for some studies, and then for, for, uh, fast track it to what you're doing now with PwC. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, so um, I um, graduated from University of South Australia in 2020. Mm-hmm. And um, so I did Master's of Cybersecurity. Yep. And then I worked one year as a business analyst in a company in Adelaide here. And in the meanwhile, like I did Master's of Cybersecurity. So I was looking for a job mm-hmm. and brushing up my skills. And then um, also I came to know about um, your um, company, Cyber Re- Re- Revolution. Mm-hmm. And I brushed up the skills and all, and then prepared for an interview. And finally, I got into the cybersecurity. I got a couple of opportunities, um, one in small company here, and then in PwC as well. So I joined mm-hmm. PwC in January this year. Started this year. Perfect. Yeah. And how's it going? Um, yeah, it's going good. Um, it's since only two two months yep. so just learning the things the company culture and my job profile and preparing myself yeah so what, what's the role that you're currently in at the moment at pwc um so i'm working as a senior cybersecurity analyst a senior cybersecurity analyst wow okay yeah. and yeah. so talk a little, i know you've only been in the role for a couple of uh, yeah months. can you give us a little bit of insight into the day-to-day um yeah, like I said, it's really the beginning of the job. Mm-hmm. So at the moment, just preparing myself, getting some internal trainings on some of the um, tools. Like I would be working on CyberArk, which is yep. like in privileged access management. So I would be in, uh, I'm in digital identity. Yep. So would be working in identity and access management and privileged access management. So uh, at the moment, I'm preparing myself for CyberArk certification. Mm-hmm. And Cyber CyberArk is a pretty good tool and has a good demand itself. Um, but it's a big, big complex tool. So it has like two, three exams to clear. Yep. It'll take like they recommend up to six months experience um, working on this tool prior you appear for the certification. Okay, great. And why cybersecurity? What is it about that industry? Um because I was reading some articles on Gartner that this is like something, it would be the future and like um, every um, company is hiring just like the service desk analyst, they are hiring cybersecurity professionals now, it's yep. into demand and the com- the market itself is booming up and so so much opportunity into it. Mm-hmm. And now in either like the, the small town like Adelaide have some good opportunities in this field and yeah. um, I had a background as well in networking so I initially thought about getting a degree which I can use my previous experience as well and then I studied a little bit um, I, I mean was comparing data analysis and cyber security so between the two I, I thought like cyber security would have more job opportunities in yep. the coming future so I have chosen that one. Great, great. Mm-hmm. And um, I guess if we backtrack a little bit, what, what's the role that you're currently in at the moment at PwC? Um, so I'm working as a senior cybersecurity analyst. A senior cybersecurity analyst. Wow. Okay. Yeah. And so yeah. talk a, I know you've only been in the role for a couple of um, Yeah. Months. Can you give us a little bit of insight into the day-to-day? Um. Yeah, like I said, it's really the beginning of the job. Mm -hmm. So at the moment, just preparing myself, getting some internal trainings on some of the um, tools. Like I would be working on CyberArk, which is like in privileged access management. So I would be in, uh, I'm in digital identity. So would be working in identity and access management and privileged access management. So uh, at the moment, I'm preparing myself for CyberArk certification. Mm-hmm. And cyber CyberArk is a pretty good tool and has a good demand itself. Um, but it's a big, big complex tool. So it has like two, three exams to clear. Yep. It'll take like they recommend up to six months experience um, working on this tool prior you appear for the certification. Great. Okay. And so um, you, you know, 
obviously studied, you had a bit of a break, you were wondering, am I going to get into mm. the industry? Um, but you knew you wanted to get into cybersecurity. Like what, mm. what was it about? I guess, why did you want to upskill yourself? You'd done your master's already. Yeah. What was it about getting some extra certifications that, you know, was attractive to you? Um, Cause in the university, it's like so much back-to-back assignments load. It's like practical. There is something you can lagging behind in practical learning. Mm-hmm. And then I thought about the certifications because when you prepare for a certification, obviously you learn a lot and it's like a self-paced so it's not like an, there's no due date to submit something. Yep. And that's why I have chosen, like, I'll go through some of the certifications to brush up my skills. Yep. Yep. And, and obviously yep. potentially give you a better chance to, to land a, a role within the industry. Yep. 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 Great. Okay. And so you, you came across um, us somehow. How did you find Cyber Evolution and why did you um, decide to, to go with us? I, th- I think one of my friends, he told me about cyber revolution and he said because i was looking for some certifications Mm -hmm. and then he he told me that um uh, if you uh i mean go through their website and talk to someone like they they have some instructor based as well and if you get stuck somewhere during your labs or anything it will be really helpful to get guidance and um then i given a thought and a little bit browse about you guys and then came across like that's what I was looking something into digital identity so when I went through the course curriculum of Comcia security plus it, it's all revolving around that cyber threats yeah. and everything and then the pathways seems to be looks good to me yep. then I thought yeah it's I mean and I joined cyber revolution some of the feedback we get from a lot of our students who have got a background uh, already, some prior mm-hmm. education, a master's or a bachelor's, mm-hmm. we hear a lot about that degree or university being quite theory based. Yep. Um, was that your experience? Um, you can say it, it depends on university curriculum, but obviously all academic institutions probably they focus on theory and on um, assignments and due dates and all but you don't get much time to spend into the labs yep. but like the platform which um, you guys provide it's like you can access 24 hours it's like virtual labs and um, notes were really good when you follow through the notes and you do the lab mm-hmm. and you can do it once twice or thrice like in um which one the network plus lab i think i did twice uh because those were the basics which um i want to clear and um yeah so it's like you can go a number of times read the notes and understand it make your own notes and you can go with your own pace so probably it's it was best idea to work on that platform are you experiencing the, the labs that you experienced and the mm-hmm. practical learning? Are you finding that that's translating into your day-to-day work at all? It is. It is. Yeah. Sure. Sure. Right. Great. Mm-hmm. I think that's the most important part, right? Theory yeah. is important, but once you know the how to yeah. practically, yeah. Yeah, it gives you a lot more confidence. Mm-hmm. And once you learn practically, um, you remember the things. The transitioning and balancing work and then also, um, you know, study as well. Mm-hmm. How did you find that balancing act? Um, probably you have to make a timetable and sort of Google calendars and all. Yep. And and then um, I think Reis, he helped me out. Like he was sending me the emails, following up the things. Yep. Like where are you? Where are you up to? And what you need to do? Yep. It's a little bit push from um, yourself and push from the organization for which or you're getting help like you guys so it's mix and match but obviously you need some commitment to do something yeah yeah you need, you need some self-motivation but also someone to keep you accountable yeah tell us a little bit more about your experience like what was it about the you know the training but also the support that really you know stood out for you um yeah training and notes and labs in lab environment it's pretty good i can say Yep. And with the sport, like when you're going through the labs and all, you can, um, this, I think, online 24-hour instructions are instructors are available. Send an email. Um, I sent 
couple of times yep. stuck somewhere in the labs um, and they said just send the snapshot and the little description where are you struggling probably like in 24 hours even less than that yep. uh, the guy he uh, reverted me yep. it's like the sport is pretty good but it all depends upon you that how you take the things and how you want to learn but yeah the sport was helpful and then pushing by one of the dedicated um, can say instructor like race or anyone because following up is pretty important and it plays an important role and played an important role in my case as well a lot of people they spend four years studying their master's degree yeah um a lot of time a lot of money mm -hmm. and they go oh, you know what I'm, it's been a year and i haven't found work yet mm -hmm. um and now I've got to go back and do extra certifications and then I still might not get a job. Like that's, yeah. a, that's a pretty realistic mm -hmm. fear for a lot of people. Did you have that fear at all? Um, you can say because you spend money, you spend time, invest time spending money. The fear is always with you. It all depends on like how you take the things, but only getting a degree or certification sometimes wouldn't help. Yeah. So it's, like us some outside sport can help like i was getting an email from you guys that these are the op um, um, job vacancies are available and you need to learn these 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 things yeah it's quite was quite motivating that at least once you complete the certification at least you can apply for these roles so these things sometimes can push a candidate yeah forward yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, and so yeah, I think because the big universities, right, they don't have those mm. places. They're so big. They can't have mm. the placement pathways. In yeah. Place. Yeah. Getting the education is important. You, you need the pieces of paper, but mm. I think it's equally as important as to what happens post-education. Okay, what would be some advice you'd give to somebody who is thinking about doing extra certifications, is thinking about doing something, not necessarily with us, but somebody to help them get mm. placed but they're just sitting on the fence a little bit. Like what would you do to, I guess, to give, give them a little bit of advice? Um, I think first of all, we need to like understand like what exactly we want to do, like our interest. Like I said, I was um, deciding between data analysis and cybersecurity. Yep. And of course, after you decide something, then you need to know like what is the area where I want help and what type of help then i decided like okay i'll cause when i uh, completed my study i was thinking like uh, i need to brush up my basic skills mm -hmm. of uh, because i want to get into cyber security so i will brush up my basic skills like in networks or yep. in active directory or these sort of things yep. and then i was trying to find out like who can help me professionally yeah so basically it's like um brainstorming like what you want to do and who can help you in a better way can you tell us about that process within pwc was that a was that um you know quite extensive like how was that were they asking lots of technical questions or was um, it more about soft skills honestly speaking it was a graduate program yep. through which i um, um i mean i joined pwc so yep. it's um probably a graduate program not much technical one it's like a group discussion and then one-to-one -one interview uh, they were trying to get like in which area you are interested in mm -hmm. but obviously when you went through all the basics so you you boost yourself you have a confidence yeah so i was like preparing for a couple of certifications before i appeared in the interview mm -hmm. and you know when you when you know the basics or uh, when you are uh, well prepared so you you appear with the confidence so that that helped me definitely yep. i guess where, where do you see yourself in down the down the pathway in sort of two three years and, and i know it can be tricky but have you got a bit of a uh, potential career pathway that you want to go down i'm yeah i think um i have a pathway that um i'm interested in a couple of certifications and certification doesn't mean certification a piece of paper when you get a certification you actually get the knowledge right so in a couple of years i'm um, i'm thinking about um, getting good hands on experience in cyber security uh, particularly in digital identity 
-hmm. and we'll learn some of the tools maybe in let's like, say in privileged access management cyber arc is a good tool yeah. there's one more beyond trust one of the i mean i want to um, get a very very good knowledge in this field and then probably looking some um higher positions as well yeah mm -hmm. yeah Right. No, the, the possibilities possibilities are endless within. Uh, yeah, cyber. especially in cybersecurity. They yeah. Are. What soft skills do you think are really really important? Not technical skills, mm -hmm. uh, in order to be successful within the the cyber industry. I I think um, better communication skills. Yep. And positive attitude. Yep. One can I mean uh, experience or get experience by practicing um, not technical, but normal or uh, behavioral um, interview questions. Mm -hmm. And it's main, it is like uh, in um, group assessment, um, how you behave when you talk, when you not to talk, when you are into argument, when you are not into argument, mm -hmm. Because all these things are important because interviewer probably is looking at you like whether you have a good um, listening skills as well or not. So yeah. there are there are so many mm -hmm. communication skills, I think, and then obviously working with it in a team. In a, working in a team with a good listening skills. Yeah, mm -hmm. perfect, and willingness to learn as well, which is what we'll, you're doing. Yeah, all always. Yeah, I'm yeah. still learning. Yeah, always. Oh, you you will be, you know, in, in, plans yeah. in the industry for decades. Yeah. You'll be learning each and every year.